This video will focus on measuring to the nearest inch and centimeter. Now this is a review for you second graders. You learned how to do this earlier in the year, okay? So you measured, you've even eventually gotten to where you estimated and uh, compared measurements, but we're gonna review how to measure to the nearest inch and centimeter because later this week, you're going to measure objects and then you're going to create line plots with that data. So let's review real quick. So on a ruler, a lot of times a ruler, you will have a centimeter side. And we can think of our centimeter as usually about the width of our pinky. And then you will have an inches side, which is to me is about the width of my thumb. Um, for some of you, it may be about the width of that from one joint to the other there, okay? So one of the things when we're uh, measuring with rulers is that we wanna make sure that we start at the correct side. Okay, so if we're gonna measure in inches and we're gonna find out the width of this um, sticky note, then I want to make sure I'm on the inches side, okay? And I can check that and make sure, yes, that's inches. When I'm measuring my ruler, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna look at the end of the ruler, okay? Look there. At the end of this ruler, you can see that there's a little bit of space before it actually has the mark where it starts measuring. So with this type of ruler, we want to make sure that we start at the end of it like that, where that mark, not the end of it, but where that mark is, okay? Some rulers, sometimes, you have to look at yours, will start at the very end. It'll start counting from the very end. So then you'd want to put your ruler there. So look at yours and make sure. But for this one, I start at that line. That's where it starts actually measuring. So I put it there. And then I look across, I can see it's one whole inch, two whole inches, and right there, three inches. So this, the width of this sticky note is three inches. Now, looking at centimeter side, okay? If I wanna look at my centimeter side, you can see here, they have the MM, that's millimeters. Millimeters are all those tiny little lines and it takes 10 millimeters to make one centimeters, one centimeter. But we're gonna measure with centimeters, okay? And so centimeters, remember we said is about the width of a pinky, so if we put it there, that's gonna be centimeters, okay? Once again, we're measuring. Look at the end of your ruler to determine what type of ruler you have. For this one, I want to start at where that line starts. That's where it actually starts counting and measuring. So I put it there so I can see it's one centimeter, two centimeters, three, four, five, six, seven, and almost eight centimeters. All right, so that halfway mark is kind of the midpoint. We're not measuring to 7.5 centimeters or 7.6, we're gonna say that it's closer to eight. Remember, we're getting to the nearest centimeter. And so we'd say it's eight because it's past that halfway mark. So we'd say that's eight centimeters. All right, so now you will practice reviewing how to measure and um, objects or lines to the nearest inch or centimeter um, on your own. Focus too on um, how many inches versus how many centimeters it takes to measure an object. And you learned earlier in the year that it's gonna take more centimeters for something that's the same, for this an object that's the same, you're gonna have more centimeters than inches. That's because centimeters are smaller. We look back at our ruler, see the one inch, and then see the one centimeter there, okay? I wish you the best luck with measuring, have fun.